Good afternoon, I'm Fiona Nelson. Investigations are continuing into a fatal crash near Gympie yesterday. A 40-year-old woman lost control on Eel Creek Road around 8.30 in the morning and crashed into a tree. Police say the road is a quiet country road and she died by the time emergency crews arrived. Forecasters are predicting severe weather off the coast of Queensland as Cyclone Sandra whips up seas. The Coast Guard is advising boat owners it's probably best to stick to the creeks this weekend. If you do head out, make sure you're registered and take an emergency beacon with you. The head of the state's Boundaries Commission says voters in Noosa need to vote with their head and not with their heart. The calls come as locals prepare to vote in tomorrow's amalgamation referendum. Commissioner Cole Meng says it's important that voters are informed about their decision, the impact it will have and the costs involved. Polling booths are open tomorrow from 8am to 6pm. To Sports News and Sunshine Coast FC take on Central Queensland FC in round one of the NPL this weekend. Last season's premiers are taking on an unknown entity in the newly formed CQ side. The two sides face off in Rockhampton at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Turning to today's weather now, starting with a satellite, a tropical cyclone off Mackay is expected to turn southeast, then move south over the next few days. Across the nation now, showers for Brisbane today, a possible shower for Sydney and Adelaide, sunny skies for Canberra. Showers in a top of 28 for Bundaberg and Maroochydore. Showers in 29 for Maribra. A possible shower 27 for Gympie. A possible shower in 23 for Toowoomba. 25 for Kingaroy. Mostly sunny in Gundawindi. 26 for Warwick. Tomorrow for Maroochydore, a possible shower a top of 27. The same on Sunday and Monday.